Hi guys, how are you doing? Hello. Are you tired? A little bit. Are yeah. you happy? Very happy. <laughs> so I know you guys, you don't like interviews at all, isn't it? I think just me, oh. particularly dislikes interviews. Yeah. yeah, I have nothing against interviews. So. If you want, we can say nothing for the next 20 minutes, just... Or just talk about something different, maybe. <laughs> we can start from what you like, at least, or you're supposed to like. The intellectual European cinema, like authors like Fellini, Antonioni, Godard, these authors affected your work or your persons in a way, if they affected you. It's kind of hard to judge how someone else's work of art affects what you do um, in any kind of direct way. But I think that all those directors that you mentioned are, you know, they make inspirational works of art. And I think that we're all big film fans. And I find that when I watch something, you know, that's a very, very good film, it leaves me feeling like, uh, you know, with a lot of like a uh, contagious creativity almost. You know, something that's really, really well done makes me feel like going and doing something. Um, so in that sense, I imagine that those directors that you listed have affected me. I read somewhere that you don't really know the real meaning of the lyrics. I think it's more that there's sometimes in interviews and, or just, you know, people will ask us, you know, direct meanings to Paul's lyrics or to our songs and so forth. And we kind of budge at going into details, much the same way that we don't always converse with Paul about his lyrics and so forth. So we would like our fans or anyone who listens to music to take, it's really about personal connection to a song. You do also like elegance in music and clothing, which is your personal meaning of elegance. You know, I don't actually see myself as being an elegant person. I think that's something to strive for, but I think that's something that becomes a man of a certain age. You know, I, I think to be elegant in your 20s is a little bit sort of fey, you know, it's a little contrived. Uh, so elegance is something that, you know, when I'm 50, I hope to be an elegant guy. You don't like to be always associated with the New York indie scene. When we first came out our, after our first record, people were talking about the New York scene as though it was like this big party of people that were all friends and, you know, hey man, check out this guitar part I'm working on, you know, like me to the strokes or something hypothetical. Like, it wasn't like that. Um, and I think we just corrected a lot of journalists that like, well, no, it's not really a scene in the sense that we're all friends. Uh, I read somewhere that you you like Eros Ramazzotti when you were a kid because you, you lived wow yeah a few years in Spain. Mm. Is it true? This is you know what this is gonna shock your straightest Italian audience. Yeah 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 I know. I think though that there was some song where he was like you know in the in the summertime I can't believe it. and like the white shirt. Uh, I just if I remembered. Because I might be confusing it with another guy that's equally cheesy and poppy. <laughs> um, but I think it was Eros Ramazzotti, yeah, and I liked, you know, I like some Seal songs too, you know, it's like there's... I like some Christina Aguilera, you know, it's like good music. Yeah, yeah but there was this, this one... Great, you know? There was a song that I did, I think it was Eros, and it was good, I just don't remember what it was. Show me the dirt pile and I will pray that the soul can say Three stones which is the fact you dislike most uh, in 2007, the fact, the event, uh, the person. <coughs> Too many to count. So many <coughs> people I hate in 2007. A lot. For example, neighbors. Hmm. Now my neighbors are great. <laughs> They're watching. Um, my dry cleaner is a little bit <laughs> on, the, starch, on huh? the list. 
But maybe you can answer to this. Uh, what do you think was the most important moment always in 2007 about music? The Tommy Lee fight with um, <laughs> Kid Rock. <coughs> Is that really about music though? No. No. <laughs> no. The um, Kanye West 50 Cent rivalry. You thought that was really? Yeah, sure. It was interesting. On the West Coast. To be honest, uh, you reached number four in the US and number two in the UK. How did you get news? How did we get the news? Manager. Yeah, manager. Said Email. That. <laughs> it was really not, it wasn't like a champagne popping kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, at that point, I think I, I was very, very happy. Um, and I think especially in Europe that this record kind of clicked with people in a way that and our, our press records, um, you know, they took a little bit longer to catch on. And I feel like this record, people really responded immediately. Talking about being satisfied with your career, do you think you had too less or too much? I wouldn't change really a thing. I think that, you know, the first five years are really, you know, we paid a lot of our dues. There's so many reasons to stop being a band. Things aren't working in New York, so. But then after that, I think because we had that time, you know, with, on, on the underground, no one really paying any mind to us. I think it kind of helped us when we did put out records and pace us, us uh, along, you know, with our, the records you've made. and. The way we look at everything now, where we kind of, I, I can look at our band and the individuals on the band and really see everyone as I've always seen them, and uh, that's important to me. Like I wouldn't want, you know, it's very easy to get swept up, or you see a lot of young bands changing, or and it's understandable, your life's changing. But the fact that we all set steps and we have like a lot of blocks, I think it's it's kind of, um, it's it's been a good thing. I wouldn't change it. Are you happy with doing your job in this period? That's really hard to comment on, but as far as the industry side of things, it would be very different, you know? I mean, just being in a band in the age of the internet, as far as like mischief and, you know, bad things that you can get up to on the road, for instance, you know? If you were Led Zeppelin on the road, everything that you might have done was all sort of hearsay, you know? Like, maybe we did this with a girl in a sand shark, or maybe we didn't. You know, nowadays it's like anything anybody does in a band, it's like immediately on somebody's phone camera and like on YouTube for the whole world to see. I mean, I feel very lucky because this was my dream to be doing this, but I would say it's probably not the ideal point in time to be in a rock band. Thanks, guys. Um, we're done. I'm going to watch the show tonight. Have fun. Thank you. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too.